For years, the Toronto District School Board has posted signs at new housing developments all over the city warning future residents nearby schools may already be full. It's a story we've covered before, but the signs are raising new questions amid an unprecedented housing crisis. Here to explain is our Karen Seal. And so Karen, what can you tell us about these warning messages and what they're saying? Well, thank you so much for having me, Melissa. You're always welcome, Karen. Come on. <laughs> well, when uh, a new housing development is being built in an area that is served by an overcrowded school, the TDSB for years has put up these warning messages, these warning signs on the construction sites, as well as inserted language into the sales and purchase agreements, basically warning future residents that their children may not secure a spot in the local school and may have to be bussed out to further schools. As you mentioned, this is a story that we have covered before. These signs are not new. The TDSB has been putting them up in locations all across the city since 2000. Um, but recently when I walked by one uh, that had been posted on fencing outside a new downtown residential development, it got me thinking um, amid this unprecedented push by all levels of government to build new housing. We hear them talking about it all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Do we have enough schools? Because schools is one piece of that infrastructure puzzle. Do we actually have enough schools that will be able to keep up with this boom of young families who will inevitably turn to vertical communities uh, for housing? That's so interesting to you that you share that insight of how this story kind of popped into your mind. Okay, so you've been digging into it. What have you learned? Basically, what I've learned is that it really depends on where you live. Mm. So I want to introduce you to Nama Blonder. She's an urban planner, she's an architect, but she's also raising her own young family in a downtown condo. And her daughter is actually one of those students that has to be bussed out mm. to a further school. And so what she tells me as uh, a parent, given her experiences as a mother, no. Absolutely, we do not have enough schools, especially in the places um, in, in, in the downtown core in, in the area where she lives. Um, drawing on her professional experience as an urban planner and an architect. Sure. The reason that is, is because the distribution of Toronto schools is not in line with Toronto's density distribution. And so what that means is that we have areas where there are schools that are underserved um, you know, the TDSB asking the province to close some of those schools. And then we have other areas where NEMA lives, um, where the local school is busting at the seams and cannot accommodate any new students. And so have a listen to what NEMA had to say in her own words. If you look, you know, maybe a generation ago, raising your kids in downtown would, you know, be surprising to some. There aren't enough schools, especially not in the areas in the cities that maybe were not anticipated to be as populated, especially by families. Having that ratio of just one school, of two stories, nothing ab above is just not the best use of land. Yeah, so it sounds like just the numbers don't make sense here. Exactly. Um, as she says, the, the distribution of the schools is not equal to where our density is, uh, is distributed here in Toronto. So are there any solutions to this problem? I mean, it might be too late for families looking for a school right now. So the TDSB has actually explored some pretty creative options. Um, so for example, in Midtown, they have a high school where the school site is shared with condo towers. Okay. Um, they're currently partnered up with the province and the private sector, currently building an elementary school in the first few floors of a new condo development on the waterfront. And so these are the kinds of um, solutions that NAMA has pointed to, as you heard in her clip. Having, you know, the two-story school and nothing above it is just not the best use of land, especially yeah. here in the downtown. Um, you know, I think we need to put it into perspective, though. These are only two schools in a city that services millions of students yeah I, and so i think you know the takeaway here will be what does the tdsb um, have in store with its future building plans and how much will vertical communities factor into that sure and it's just important to keep families in mind i guess as we you know as our city grows and move forward that sort of thing okay karen steelman i know you have more of this tonight at city news at five and six we'll definitely be looking for it thank, thank you. you so much